ないこの俺が人間なんだよあー Alright, so in this one, I want to、uh, finish going over Gogeta's kit because we do have more information on it, just、um, some arts cards and all that, but it is more information that we did not have、uh, you know, in the previous video where we went over his base kit that they just showed in the reveals and stuff, right? They put out more information, I guess, later, which doesn't make sense. And I want to go over the idea of how broken will this man be? Like, genuinely, this is the first Sonable Ultra. We had the first of units in the past, but we never had the first of a new rarity in the entire game since its inception, right? Because we started with Heroes Extreme Sparkings. We have never had a new rarity be summonable, and we're here now. Like, this is coming tomorrow, and I feel like trying to anticipate slash set a standard expectation of it、uh, is probably something we should start doing because expect a lot.、Uh, just to look at his arts real quick, though, before we get anything else. Get into anything else.、Uh, his strike guards cannot be into other than charging forward with blast armor, so his blast armor on them. And while using strike, he gets five key back. On his green card, which I thought was, you know, basically gonna be nothing, but no, it's good.、Um, applies effect nullifies enemy special actions that affect changing cover. So, nullify special cover change for 10 timer counts, cancels on attribute downgrades and on all conditions, cancels enemy attribute upgrades. That's probably a one time effect, I'm guessing, but it still happens. And restores key by 30. Oh no! His green card cancels attribute upgrades every time. Because that activates twice, it's only for that key back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's broken. Blue card, dash forward, blast armor.、Uh, when activated, increase special move damage inflicted. Upon special move hit, destroys all of your opponent's cards. Very nice. And then his ultimate, he does have two. He gets one from his main ability and then one from. Uh, two allies defeated, he draws an ultimate by showing one card in his hand, right? His ultimate, supreme impact damage, has blast armor, increases ultimate damage upon、uh, one landing it,、uh, upon activation, and then he nullifies endurance. And then I believe there is more to him?、Uh, I believe, if I just go to this guy's Twitter, oh, he follows me, nice.、Um, I believe there is more to his kit. If not, then Uh, I'm pretty sure there is. But regardless,、um, that's his art. So everything you saw earlier, on top of that, th that's his kit, right? But to look. So I built a team. And this is the team you're probably going to run.、Uh, you could even build a team, if I could just replace a team real quick, I'll replace this. Where you build mono blue. And <laughs> you build mono blue to a circumstance where it's the same thing as mono purple, right? You build this, this.、Um, maybe you have name it Goku Bench. And then. You have, I don't know, you don't need Sword of Hope. I guess you could have him if you really want to. But you have、uh, Gogeta there, obviously, Gogeta being blue. And you have, it doesn't really matter at that point. You could have LF Broly. You could have literally any Super Saiyan. You could have Future Gohan as a yellow, yellow, or blue, blue, yellow thing.、Uh, blue, blue, purple with、um, Revival Gohan or Goku Vegeta. You could have literally anything. But you're going to run into teams where it's mono blue. Then you're going to run into teams where it's mono purple. Then you're going to run into this. Uh, again, this team is probably going to be his best that's more relevant.、Uh, Super Saiyans is a very good team when it gets going, but in a normal circumstance, you're going to get fucked over sometimes. It's just how it's going to happen. You know, maybe with Gogeta being the best unit in the game. And yes, I do think kit wise, he is the best unit in the game. I've seen、uh, things that show he can nullify endurance up to what? One minute? One minute, right? Uh. He's gonna be cracked beyond belief. And again, this team is more realistic.、Uh, Super Gogeta obviously being a crack Zenkai. Goku Gogeta obviously being number two in the game after Super Gogeta does drop. Then you have double Zenkai bench for each unit. And then Super Gogeta himself is gonna get double Zenkai buffed. You could even use Bardock, I guess, instead of uh, uh, transforming Gogeta here because he's blast attack and defense, while Bardock is a strike attack defense, what he's giving for his ability. So I really, if you really want to. You just throw some you know, random bullshit because you're not going to use Bardock on here. Boom, 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 whatever. And then here you go. You got a meta relevant team. And it's really not even that hard to build because Tag Goku Vegeta, they're still here.、Uh, their banners last, I think. If they don't last as long, I'm pretty sure they're very close to lasting as long as Super Gogeta's. Yeah. Super Gogeta's ends, what, the 15th? This lasts almost as long. So if you don't know, like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? Like, this one has 1800 for every single sparking and then 3x and then 30% uh, percent sparking rate.、Uh, which one do I do? Super Gogeta, which we don't know the percentage of. You know, obviously, they're going to put it in the news probably. If I could click the fucking button.、Uh, they're probably going to put it in the news here. If I were to assume. 
At reset, uh, obviously they announced maintenance to where, yeah, yeah, we're getting some maintenance, and uh, obviously that's going to be a lot of big things. With Super Gogeta seemingly to drop tomorrow, I'm interested why we're getting some maintenance actually tonight, because they say he drops tomorrow. Okay, maybe he does drop tonight. Well, regardless, it doesn't really matter, because it's still going up before he drops, but um, we're going to get his information, like, is it 1,000, is it 1,500, is it 2,000? And I feel like, again, the whole premise of this would be to set an expectation for, like, what really is this guy going to be? So, to compare him to the last two LFs, which are the number one, Goku Vegeta, and then number two with Sword of Hope being maybe number five, on top of them having boost, how insane they are. Just to give you guys a rundown, uh, Trunks has 130% damage inflicted, right? Goku Vegeta have 140%. Like, that's, like, their numbers, right? Like, that's the numbers they have with their damage inflicted. So, Super Gogeta already, who is going to have 150%, is a leg up. Just so you know, he's already a leg up. By the way, Super Gogeta, uh, again, I can't find the actual information for this on uh, Twitter, unfortunately, but I did see, I think it's when one, one ally dies, he does lock in. Uh, he also does the Bojack effect, where if he gets rushed, he lowers the sub count by five. So, he has a lot of legs up, on top of a minute at peak nullifying endurance. On top of his unique gauge healing him, consistently because it rebuilds and rebuilds and rebuilds and rebuilds basically it seems that every new combo you do you can get your unique gauge filled up because what he has card draw speed right that's gonna be like six to seven to eight cards you pop a green card they can't even cover change i don't even give a shit about my damage at that point i'm just here to get my heal i'm just here to get my damage flinching i'm just here to get my 20 percent cut and then i have 70 percent cut for the next combo but hey uh He's not gonna be the best in the game, no, no, no. But let's just look at stats, right? So just to look at uh, Trunks stats, right? This is him at 10 stars. So again, we don't know the uh, drop we're going to get Super Gogeta at. We just know he's blue. We just know he is strike based and we know most of his kit, not all of it, but most of it, right? So this is Trunks' stats at 10. Okay, not crazy, not terrible. Truly, these aren't crazy stats, uh, LF wise, if I were to compare them to like UI Goku. I guess, uh, who is higher strike-based stats than blast base, even though he is a blast base unit. That guy, what, Trunks had 255 for a strike, right? So if I were to look at Yuai Goku, who's less stars, what's his stats? Yeah, no nothing crazy. If I had him 10 stars, he'd be about the same thing as his strike, right? N nothing insane. The whole point is, the stats don't really fucking matter that much for LFs. Um, you'll see, just, look, I have to, like, really drive this point along, because if LF stats don't matter then Ultra stats really won't fucking matter. I have to drive this point to where you look at Revival Gohan. Look look at his stats, pre. These look pretty ass, right? Look at them post. They aren't even that crazy, right? Th these are these are average stats. It, it's the kit. Uh, even if this fucking Gogeta has, I don't know, to compare to Sword of Hope Trunks. Again, a top five unit in the game. After boost, maybe he's top 10, but he's still in contention of like, a high tier unit, like a desirable, very good unit that you can also get right now, right? So it's very important. Look, <laughs> these are nothing. These are really nothing. If Gogeta at six stars has even a crumb, a, a near crow of this, and again, remember, this is a new rarity. They have never done this before in the entire game. They have done free to play ultras. Yes, that, 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 no, not, not you. That's great, but they have never done a new rarity be summonable. Look at these ultras. Their stats. Good defenses. Great defense. He's a defense type, right? Okay. Offense is pretty normal, right? They're pretty comparable to actual, like, uh, summonable LFs at six or seven stars, right? Then look. Offense is a little bit higher, actually. So they might even gas his stats. But even so, it doesn't matter. If he has even similar to close to these stats, look how low their attack is. Look! Look at Tag Goku Vegeta. Look at their offenses this slow at nine stars. This is the self-proclaimed, I mean, self-proclaimed and proclaimed by everyone in the world, best unit in the game. These stats are nothing. This is a nine star LF. This ultra, I can guarantee you, at six stars, probably has higher stats than Goku Vegeta. Like, it... There is no reason to dispute it, and even so, his kit is better. You know, you have Tag Goku Vegeta that can do literally everything on Earth. The thing is, with Gogeta, 
is you can pair them with Tag Goku Vegeta. Gogeta is the glue for Goku Vegeta to work as a perfect thing. Because you have Mono Purple, right? And look at this. It's like, okay, what's the one weakness? Like, there is basically no weakness but this one thing. The one weakness is you start off as Mono Purple, right? So you don't have any uh, leeway to kind of get out. Like, your get out is go into Goku Vegeta, let them take a combo, then swap to Vegeta to get your health back from that combo, right? That's your get out that you have early game. But you have none of that early game um, besides that, right, you're not really tanking, you're just kind of, okay, god damn it, I have to eat this hit because I got comboed, first combo. There's obviously different situations to handle that, where you just kind of, you know, don't get comboed first, but obviously it's not going to happen every time, right? Now you have this blue motherfucker who's coming, and he's fixing that. Um, obviously, early game, you're stuck with two purples, okay, well, I'll go to my blue. I'm sorry doesn't really matter at that point and i'm vibing i have nothing to worry about because i have my gogeta who <sighs> who heals basically every new combo he does who has 50 percent cut on entry and then i have tag goku vegeta who are infinite healing then i have super vegeta who can heal on his main then i have gogeta who could probably heal on his main because every fucking new unit that's half relevant can heal on their main Oh, man. Uh, just, again, to give you guys more of a, uh, I don't know, general sense, it, this is going to be the best unit in the game. There, there's not a debate about it. Uh, they're countering, he, I keep saying they because I'm used to tag Goku Vegeta, this team rather, I guess, but Gogeta's countering out future by just saying, fuck you, I can go neutral when someone's dead. Okay, let me sack off Super Vegito. Who cares? Because I basically have two last man standings at that point because Gogeta's going to fucking nuke when he's last man standing. Then I tag Goku Vegeta, who are always last man standing because their damage never does anything bad and they're always insane. And then, again, infinite healing. Yeah. Um, set the expectation of Ultra Gogeta to not be a letdown. Uh, the only letdown we have had that was a new mechanic was... UI Goku, and I mean new mechanic by, like, introducing the mechanic, right? Uh, obviously, UI Goku introduced the uh, gauge mechanic, and, you know, now it's being applied to Tag Goku Vegeta. Well, in a sense. I, well, not really, actually. I don't know why I said that. Uh, Sword Hope Trunks has it, and now um, Ultra Gogeta. I, again, I would just be wary. Uh, PvP might not be the most fun for people. Uh, at least, if nothing else, we are getting an earlier reset. Again, I am a little bit confused why we have maintenance tonight when it was stated that they might come out tomorrow, but okay. Um, regardless of that, uh, just expect a lot of hard matches. If this Gogeta drops at like 1,000 Z power, 1,500, that's probably a W in its own sense. Uh, maybe his rates might be ass. The banner itself probably will be Gogeta 4, who hasn't returned uh, during the Loves of Festival celebration. Carlton Red's Monster, who also hasn't returned. Cell, who hasn't returned. Um, and, you know, Cell is very quick to return because it's only been two months. But he, he could return, honestly, because Great Ape Vegeta's back. It's only been three months for him. Like, it's not that far-fetched. So, it seems like it'll be Carlton Red's Monster, Gogeta 4, and uh, Cell. If it's not Cell, then maybe... I don't know, um, fucking Vegeta Blue just came back, um, another fusion, I don't know, F bring Gogeta Blue back, let him Zenkai, I don't know, he's on Goku Vegeta banner, but let him fucking Zenkai, I don't fucking know, they want fusions to be busted, so bring him back, uh, again, it's gonna be 600Z power, I assume they lied to us, by the way, because they literally said in the last, like, the hour-long fucking video and stuff, that it was going to be, um, what was it? Triple Z power and 30 cent sparking rates for all of Legends Festival? Like, Toshi said that from his fucking mouth on camera, like, in 4K, and yet we're getting, like they said, um, just a normal thing. Maybe, <laughs> I guess they might throw us a curveball where Gogeta drops it like 2,000 Z power. I don't fucking know, personally, but we will see. I guess maybe tonight, because I didn't even notice there was maintenance. Uh, if he comes tonight... Okay, I guess we'll do a showcase. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We have some maintenance, so I guess maybe a breakdown's gonna happen tonight. I, I don't know fucking anything, so um just be wary. The whole point of this video is to show you guys like here, build them here. If you wanna have them optimal, build them here. This is the team you're gonna run into. You're still gonna run into this team here. You're gonna run into mono blue, like you're gonna run into all this cancer shit. Good luck with it. Um <laughs> if I could offer some advice is 
just just pull the Danube. <laughs> just, just, I can't say much else. There's no like. Uh, let's hope this freeze is green. Like the free freeze. Let's hope he's green and he counters out uh, Gogeta. Even though Gogeta does more to powerful opponent and movie units, <laughs> let's just hope the freeze is green and the most cracked free play option in the entire game. Because <laughs> this is. This is about to get bad. Uh, Goku and Vegeta are bad, right? But this is about to get, uh... It's about to get scary. But, let me know you guys think. If you are summoning for Ultra Gogeta, hype or not for him, uh, you should at least anticipate him to be at least a top three unit in the game, if not the best unit. Again, reading him, he looks like he's the best unit in the game. The damage inflicted he gets is already higher than Goku Vegeta. He can go neutral, he can lock. He's manipulating uh, sub counts on Rush. He has nullify special cover change. The only thing he doesn't have is he doesn't support, but he has last man standing, so it's kind of like, okay, I have that over that. And it seems like his last man standing ultimate's probably going to one-shot any unit because I assume it just goes neutral when he has a defeated ally. We draw the ultimate, obviously, with two defeated allies if you don't, you know, pop the main ability. But that circumstance, you're probably just going to nuke anybody in the entire game. And, well, he's an ultra. They're not going to make him bad. Uh, let me know guys think of everything. If you are summoning for Ultra Gogeta, I wish you luck. If he does come tonight, again, some maintenance is just there, and I, you know, whatever. If he does come tonight, uh, if you are summoning, good luck. I hope you get him. Uh, I hope he drops at something near 1500 Z power because they said we don't want you to use two star units. Okay, well, if you drop him at 1000, he'll be three star, so it doesn't really make much difference, right? 1500 to like 2000 Z power would be great. I know this is such a big ask from like where we were two months ago of. Normal 600, normal 600, normal 600. Now we have this leap of like, oh, okay, give me 1800, give me 2000, give me... Like, we're, we're taking big strides here to just take these demands from Legends. But, I mean, you want us to summon for one solo unit, uh, that, that's what's had, gonna have to happen, right? You look at Super Saiyan 4 Goku and that EX Baby Banner pre-anniversary. You think anyone summoned on that? The Oxo people did. The Oxo people went ham. They went great. But no, no one actually summoned on it. The other banners, uh, Evolution Blue, it's a hype character. Uh, Gogeta, while he is a hype character, it's not even an EX. There's not even an EX announced. There's only a free-to-play unit that comes alongside. Uh, again, just... <sighs> I feel bad for people that aren't going to pull for him and or pull him while pulling for him that that that's all i can really say again i do think he is the best on paper in the entire game and uh good luck good, good luck in pvp out there uh, i know i'll be wishing myself luck doing fucking circles around the room uh, pissed off at this game because huh <sighs> he's also gonna be boosted by the way you know He's going to be boosted for two seasons. While well, Goku Vegeta have already been boosted two seasons, they're still in the boost tier. He's probably going to boost until Legends Festival ends. Remember that. Yeah, that's happening. Well, let me know you guys think of it all. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be a rough ride. It's going to be a fun ride for a little bit. But it's going <laughs> to... Oh, boy. Uh... Do you guys think he's the best in the game? Do you guys think he's ass? Are you guys hype? Are you guys not hype? <laughs> I'll see you guys in the breakdown if we need one. Because, yeah, I don't know what the fuck's happening. But if not the breakdown, then tomorrow for a normal PvP video. If not that, then Super Gogeta's fucking showcase. Because I'm going to pull for this bastard. Obviously, I'm going to get him. Show him off. You guys can see. You guys have left two weeks. Less than two weeks, honestly. Uh, to summon, and, uh, I, I hope he's great, I hope he's phenomenal, I don't hope he's better than Goku Vegeta, I hope I'm wrong in saying he's better than Goku Vegeta, I hope I'm wrong in saying he's top 5, top 3, whatever, I hope that's not the case, if it is, it's anticipated, and I just, again, want you guys to let, uh, your expectations be there, this unit will be more cancerous, and can be more cancerous than Goku Vegeta, and it's just how it's going to be. They have to one-up themselves. I agree with that. Maybe they didn't have to make Goku Vegeta how they are. Maybe, just a little bit. A little bit, but... <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm worried. Eager.
Seeker, but worried. Again, let me know if you guys are summoning or not, and I'll see you guys in the next one, whatever the fuck it is. Again, I got no clue.